Akili, Akili, this is Akili, she has a secret. Tell us, tell us. When the sun goes down, Akili goes to sleep, and she enters a world where all the animals speak. Akili, 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 Akili. But there is something strange about this magic land. The animals speak English, which she doesn't understand. But if you help her out, we know we can. Today, Akili went to the market with her father. There were so many colorful fruits and vegetables there, so they played a game. Akili would pick a fruit and tell her father the color. And then he'd have to guess it. Yellow! Yeah! Akili's mother had given them a list of things to buy at the market. So they followed the list together and bought tomatoes, bananas, spinach and rice. They also decided to get mother a surprise that wasn't on her list. The big juicy pineapple. Mmm. Akili is so tired from her long day at the market. Good night, Akili. Akili, you're in La La Land! Wow! There are so many people around and so many things to see! Huh? Kids, can you tell Akili the name of this busy place in English? has come to buy the ingredients for Mother Hippo's famous fruit salad. Mmm, yummy! And look, she has a list of everything she needs. What's first on the list? Bananas! That's right, let's help Happy Hippo find bananas. Work. You found the bananas. Banana, banana, yummy banana, 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 banana. Hello, Happy Hippo. Hello, Achille. Hello, Hello, Little Lion. I love Market Day. We all love Market Day. And what's that you're buying ingredients for, Little Lion? Pizza! With vegetables and pineapple. Oh my! Pineapple and vegetable pizza. Sounds yummy. Mm. Oh, Little Lion also has a list of the things he needs to buy. What's the first thing on his list? Tomato! That's right. Let's help them find a tomato. Tomato! No! Tomatoes! Ah! Nice tomato! work! You found them! Tomato, 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 tomato. It's red in color and a circle in shape. Tomato, tomato is its name. Wow! So what do you need ingredients for, Bush Baby? Oh my, is that pineapple fried rice? Hmm, and what ingredients do you need for that? What's that first ingredient on the list? Rice! 
rice. Good job. Can you help Akili and Bush Baby find rice at the market? Your rice. What's next? Egg. 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 Hmm. What's that sound? Hello. Hello. Can you please help me? I can help. Mr. Mouse is buying beans to eat with his vegetables. Beans help us grow strong. Oh. Oh. What's next for Mr. Mouse? Maybe we can help him buy his next item. Pineapple! Pineapple? Pineapple! Kids, can you remember what a pineapple looks like? Help Akili and Mr. Mouse find one. Pineapple! Hmm. Pineapple! Pineapple! You found it! What an amazing looking pineapple! Over the pineapple. Uh -oh. oh no, I'm sorry. The Goodness, the market really is a mess. Everything has fallen everywhere. But don't lose hope. You can fix this if you work together. Come on! We can help! We can do it! Let's go! Market, market, this is our market. Market, market, where we buy and sell. Market, market, this is our market Filled with food for us to eat well Market, market, this is our market Market, market, where we buy and sell Market, market, this is our market Filled with goods for us to live well Yay! Oh, the baskets are all the same do you remember which one belongs to Happy Hippo? What did Happy Hippo buy? Bananas! What did Little Lion buy? Tomatoes! And what did Bush Baby buy? Rice! Thank you! Rice! That's right, there's only one pineapple. And all of you wanted pineapple for your recipes. What can you do? Mm. Hmm. 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 We can share. Great idea, Mr. Mouse. You can share the pineapple. It's big enough that you can each have some of it. Now that you've cut it into four pieces, each of your friends can have a piece. Akili. Oh, Akili. that's your mother. Akili, it's time to go home. Say goodbye. Bye, friends. Bye, Bye Akili. Akili. The sun has come up and the rooster is crowing. It's time for Akili to start her day. 
Today, she will help her parents cook all of the yummy fruits and vegetables that they bought at the market. And tonight, in La La Land, another adventure awaits. <laughs> hey there, friends. What time is it? It's time for the alphabet. Hey, hey, hey. It's the letter of the day. But which letter shall we choose today? Letter D, D, D. Letter D, D, D. Show me the letter D. Kids, letter D is very excited to see you. He's making his special sound, duh. I think letter D wants to show us something. Aha! Letter D has found his special spade. That must mean it's time to dig for some treasure. Oh, there are two holes for digging here. We need to find the one with the letter D on it. It should look just like our friend, letter D. Kids, can you help letter D find his hole? Point at the letter D so we know where to dig. Hmm, which one is the letter D? Great job, kids! You found letter D's hole. See how letter D's hole has his shape on it? Time to dig for treasure! <sighs> Oh dear, <sighs> digging is hard work. <sighs> Kids, can you help letter D dig? Say D to help him dig. D, 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 D. Look how well letter D can dig with your help, kids. Let's help him to dig even deeper. Say D even louder. D, 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 D. Uh-oh! Letter D fell down a deep, deep hole. Poor letter D. I think the hole is too deep to climb out. Don't worry, letter D. We can help you find another way out. Oh, there are two tunnels here. Hmm, these two letters look very alike. Oh, yes! The letter D has a big round bottom, but the letter B has a big round tummy. Kids, can you help our friend letter D find the letter D tunnel? Let's look for the letter with the big round bottom. Yes, the letter D has a big round bottom. Kids, do you see what I see? It looks like there is some sparkly treasure at the end of this tunnel. Oh no! But there is some more dirt blocking the way. Hmm, maybe if letter D can dig through this dirt, he can reach the treasure. Kids, let's help letter D dig by making the D sound as loud as we can. Ready? Da, 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 da. Well done, kids! You've helped letter D dig and reach the treasure. Oh, the treasure chest is locked. I think letter D has an idea. Aha! Good idea, letter D. We can unlock the chest by writing the letter D. Kids, Get your fingers ready to write letter D. Where do we start to write? That's right! We start in the middle. Then we go round and up to the top and down. Letter D. Great job, kids! You've opened the treasure chest! I wonder what's inside! Wow! It's a magic snail! 
Good idea, letter D. Maybe the magic snail can help you get back up to the Swoopalulu. Ah! Before the magic snail takes letter D home, she wants us to show her how to write the letter D. Kids, get your fingers ready to follow the shape. We start in the middle. Then we go round and up to the top and down. Letter D. Well done, kids. You showed the magic snail how to write the letter D. <laughs> I think the magic snail wants to have a go now. Well done! You did it, magic snail! Now it's time for the magic snail to help letter D back to the Swoopalulu. Well done, kids! You helped letter D find the treasure and get back to the Swoopalulu. I am letter D. I make the sound D. How to download an Ubongo app from the Play Store. Before you start, make sure that you have the device's owner's permission and that your data is on. You will also need a Google account. If you don't have one, ask for advice from a wise friend or a trustworthy phone repairer. From your phone's home screen, look for the Play Store icon and give it a tap. Tap the search bar and type the name of the app. Choose the app that you want. Ubongo is under all of the names of our apps. Tap on install and wait. Once installed, tap open. You've done it! Enjoy! If you like the app, then come back and give a five-star review. If not, then share your feedback. boop de doo Flip one, flip two. I just love to count with you. Let's go! I'm off to the market. I'm off to the market. Hmm. Watermelons. Big, big watermelon. Can I have one, please? Can I have one, please? Oh, wait. I'm very, very sure I need one more. So that will be one, two, perfect. What's next? I'm at the market. I'm at the market. Mmm, pineapples. Sweet, sweet pineapple. Can I have two, please? Can I have two, please? Oh, wait. I'm very, very sure I need one more. So that will be one, two, three. Perfect. What's next? Counting one more is so easy. All we need to do is take one jump to get one more on to the next number. I'm at the market. I'm at the market. Mm. Green peppers, sweet green peppers. Can I have three, please? Can I have three, please? Oh, wait. I'm very, very sure I need one more. So that will be one, two, three, four. Perfect. What's next? I'm at the market. I'm at the market. Hmm. Carrots. Tasty, tasty carrots. Can I have four, please? Can I have four, please? Oh, wait. I'm very, very sure I need one more. So that will be one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. What's next? Counting one more is so easy. All we need to do is take one jump to get one more. On to the next number. I'm at the market. I'm at the market. Hmm. Tomatoes. Juicy, juicy tomatoes. Can I have five, please? Can I have five, please? Oh, wait. I'm very, very sure I need one more. So that will be one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. What's next? I'm at the market. I'm at the market. Hmm. Oranges. Sweet, sweet oranges. Can I have six, please? Can I have six, please? Oh, wait. 
I'm very, very sure I need one more. So that will be one, two, three, four, five, six. Can you guess what's next? Seven! That's right! Counting one more is so easy. All we need to do is take one jump to get one more on to the next number. to care about each other. Last week, our teacher announced that we will be going for a class trip to go see the ostrich race. Yay! I got so excited because I had never been to a race before and I had only heard good and exciting things about it. I could not wait to go. Two days before the trip, I started feeling icky. My throat was sore and my nose was stuffed. Oh no! How could I get sick just before the trip? I had been waiting for it for so long. I was scared that if I told mother, she would tell me to go to the doctor. And I do not like going to the doctor. And what if the doctor tells me I cannot go to the trip anymore? I decided not to tell anyone. I thought it would go away by itself. On the morning of the trip, mother came to wake me up. I couldn't get up. I was feeling really bad. Mother said I couldn't go to the trip when I'm feeling sick. She said we had to go to the doctors. I was so hot and my throat was super sore. The doctor gave me some medicine and said I had to stay in bed all day. I was so sad that I would be missing the trip, but I also wanted to feel better. Mother said that I was supposed to tell her as soon as I started feeling unwell. If I had told her earlier, I could have been feeling better already and could have gone for the trip. Kelly and Mary came to see me at home after the trip. They told me all about the ostrich race. I was sad that I missed it this year, but I was glad to be feeling better again. That day I learned that it is really important that the moment we feel unwell, we should tell an adult. They know how to help us to feel better again. I can't wait to see the races for myself when I'm all better again. health is so important. Germs, germs, germs. When you see, you call. 
Just the germs away. 